The Latin poet Gratius has left a description of the use of incense by priests for the worship of Vulcan in the heart of the cavernous volcanic regions of Sicily. A number of the details in his description make it clear that he is in fact referring to worship at the pre-Greek temple of Adranus, the god who became identified with Hephaestus. His temple was built out of lava on the southwest slope of Etna and dates back to long before the time of Empedocles. Taken together with the passage in the Etna Latin poem, the evidence would appear to suggest a coherent picture of ancient fire worship based at a temple located close to, but also at a comparatively safe distance from, the main crater and carried up to the crater's mouth when circumstances and conditions permitted. Peter Kingsley also refers to a town called Hibla Gileatis. The town was dedicated to the cult of a pre-Greek goddess, a Chthonic or underworld divinity. Even at the peak of the Greek colonization of Sicily, the inhabitants of the town, like the cult itself, remained non-Greek, barbarian. These people, and apparently one family in particular, were famous among the Greeks not just for their remarkable piety, but, above all, for their skill in the interpretation of dreams and omens. For their skill as dream prophets, they were renowned throughout the whole of Sicily and beyond. Here again, we are dependent on the late authority of Cicero and Pausanias, and yet this time the person whom they cite as the source of their information, Philistus, takes us back to the 5th century BC. There can be no doubt that just as with the temple of Adronus, the local cult of the goddess at Hybla Gileatis was another symptom of the religious activity bound up with the volcanic phenomenon of Mount Etna. Peter Kingsley, Ancient Philosophy, Mystery, and Magic.